Hey friends, Whisper Mizzen here, and welcome back to my channel. In continuing our series of little tricks and hacks, uh, the noob way, which is my way, <laughs> on how to fix um, some glitches or just unwanted things you want in your pictures, today I'm going to talk about shadows. Um, those shadows can be nice. I'm very OCD, so a lot of times I'll erase specific shadows. I don't like how they turn out in my pictures, like especially the forehead. Let's talk about the forehead and the hair. Like, I can't stand that. <laughs> so I figured out a way on my end on how to remove shadows, but kind of keep the quality of shadows within the hair. Um, I don't know if you ever saw, but sometimes when you do shadows, you get these really dark, like gray shadows that integrates with the hair and it, it bothers me. I can't, I, I don't like it. So this is what I do when I want to remove those shadows, which is usually every single time I take a picture. So go ahead and take your picture, save it, open up in Photoshop. And as you can tell, just, I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like the shadows, it, it interferes with the eyes and, and all that even right here, over here. So I will go ahead and take a picture with shadows and then I'll go into my slider bar and I will disable sha shadows, no shadows. And I will take a picture like that as well. And I'll save it. And I'll go back over here and I'll open that up. I'll go back to the original picture and I will select all. Control C will copy that picture. And Control V as a Victor, you paste it onto the picture with no shadow. I will go in, zoom in, and I'll click on this uh, eraser tool. I have my, I prefer 50% opacity. And make sure that you check either one of these. It doesn't matter, but just the ones where it's kind of blur. Uh, so yeah. If you use the, I don't know what these are called, bars, like I can easily go and manage. Uh, I'll put it up in the video to show you what I'm talking about. I use these bars to expand the width that I want. And then I will go ahead. As you can see, there's two layers, right? You have your layer w with no shadows. And then you have your layer with shadows. I will slowly go over these areas and remove those shadows. And I do this by just clicking because sometimes again I do want to keep shadows but not the really harsh shadows around my eyes. Alright, so that about sums it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and liquefy that in a few. And I'll do another video on that. Uh, but yeah, this is basically how I get rid of unwanted shadows on the forehead. I do not like them. They are new bueno. Did I say new bueno? <laughs> no bueno for me. Uh, but yeah. Alright, hope that helped. See ya.